Hey guys, and welcome to Castle's Corner. I'm Coach Castle, and today we're going to be talking about what your physique looks like in different clothes, outfits, relaxed, beginning of the day, and end of the day, and why you really shouldn't care that much. But anyways, to begin with, this is kind of my normal attire. It's comfortable, it's loose, it's uh, airy, it's breathy. I won't really sweat a lot in this. It's good, comfortable clothing. But nobody would ever say that I look like a bodybuilder or even athletic while I'm wearing this. But if you just remove the clothing and you get down to something much scantier, <laughs> then you can see the physique, you can see what it looks like, it's much more impressive. But well, how about something like this? Something like this is a tighter shirt, which can show off your traps, those nice big shoulders you've been working on, your arms from the side, your lats can be seen. You got a nice little kind of contrast and color between your skin and your arm, baggy pants, comfortable, a lot of pockets, but nobody would ever say you could really tell that I got good legs or a nice booty or anything else wearing this kind of going out in public everyday attire. Well, how about something a little tighter? Well, now I've got slightly tighter pants. They kind of hug my form a little bit. You can actually kind of see my quad muscles a bit. You can see the butt, the lines. You can see, again, the kind of muscularity when it's something tighter that actually fits on you. It literally is kind of a second skin and it shows off your muscles. So. What I'm trying to get at with these videos is don't let people's opinion of what you look like influence what you're doing. That being said, our appearance is important. And when you're in public, you do want to look your best. So make sure you're wearing clothes that suit your body. So for me, that would be something like this. A tighter shirt shows off my shoulders. Everything tight in the right places, tight around the waist. It's not loose, baggy shirt. It's not loose and baggy. The pants are tight enough that I have full mobility, but they're also stretchy and comfortable. And again, they just kind of make me look a little bit better in these kinds of clothing. This is not what I typically wear. I typically wear very comfortable clothes, and that's because I'm comfortable with my body. However, if I'm doing a lecture, I will have long sleeves on. And that's because I want to cover up my tattoos. I don't want them being a distraction during the lecture. If I'm in public on a date, something like that, I want to look good, I will actually take the time to wear something like this. Now, the final thing I want to talk about is how about just normal standing, stance. Well, me, we're midday now. It's about four o'clock. Me standing here like this, my normal stance. But what if I was to just completely neglect my posture and breathing like so many people? I would look like this. Okay. This is not really a good look for me. This makes me look fat. This is a bad spine. This does not look good, nor should it. This is not healthy. I don't have my balance between both my feet. My pelvis is not in the correct area. My spine is not where it's supposed to be, nor is my chin. Now that I'm standing the way I should and I'm rigid, breathing with my belly, I have correct posture. This is how I am throughout the day. It doesn't matter if I'm sitting or I'm standing, I'm paying attention to what my pelvis is doing, where I'm distributing the weight in my feet, what my back is doing, what my chin is doing, and specifically also how I'm breathing. So just remember guys, what matters is how comfortable you are and confident you are with your body. Should be to the best of your abilities. You should wear clothes that actually accentuate how you look, make you feel good about yourself. But if you're wearing comfortable clothes like I do on a daily basis, nobody's gonna know all that muscles you have. It's called a sleeper build. You're just muscular, athletic, but it doesn't really show depending on the clothes that you wear, guys. But that's it. I wanted to make this quick video for you guys today to understand clothing choices, how they affect you. Also, at the end of the day, one thing I did forget is as you're eating your vegetables and meat and everything else throughout the day, you're going to get bloated. 
and your belly's gonna get bigger. That's a food, baby. It doesn't mean that you're fatter or anything. You're gonna be just looking bloated. So what? It happens to everybody. <laughs> if you're eating enough food and fiber and vegetables throughout the day, you will get that bloated belly at the end of the day. There's nothing wrong with it. It'll go away by the time you wake up the next day. So anyways, I hope you found this video helpful, everybody. Have a great day. I hope that you liked that video. I just wanted to remind you all, if you're able to and you support my work, please make sure that you like the video. You subscribe if you haven't already. You click the notification bell and you share this video or leave a comment to help the algorithm. Every little bit helps and I'm trying to get this information to as many people as is possible. And of course, if I can help you with any of your coaching needs, you need a running plan, you need a workout plan, you want to build mass, you want to lose weight. You want to do things correctly, you want a full education about your diet, your exercise, your respiratory health, supplements, and everything else, just contact me at castlinprogress.com or via my email, castlinprogress at gmail.com. If you don't want coaching directly, just check out my Etsy store. It's linked in the description of all of my videos. I have all of my many books, tools, and everything else there. Or finally, check out my Substack. It's linked in a lot of the videos as well. And it's free, a free newsletter where I share the latest science, advice, exercises, and everything else for free. So thank you as always for your support, everyone.